Oh, why are we doing this? Because <laughs> Bunchy is this? said so. Actually, um, when we were recording this part, um, there was some really bad video and audio problems. Yeah. And actually, our audio was almost completely desynchronized. And that led us to this. We replaced it with elevator music. Yep. That it actually kind of fits. fits. Yeah, exactly. But anyways, before we fits. get too far ahead, I'm Chris. And I'm Trey. And we are Console Freaks, and I wanted to get that out of the way before I forgot. And this is the third episode of our Castlevania series so far. Yes. Three okay. of four. Three of four. So, almost there. And the last one, we actually uh, made it to the castle. We're in the castle now, aren't we? Yep. Yeah, we we are in the castle. castle. We're we're coming for Dracula. We're coming for yep. uh, Dracula knows it too. Coming for you, Mr. Butterfly. This is around the time yeah. <laughs> this is around the time where uh the enemies start taking more hits to kill. Yeah, I thought you was gonna get knocked off there for a second. I did get knocked off. It was just very good jump cutting. <clears throat> oh I wasn't even like I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. That's great. Kudos. I was very proud of that. I was <laughs> hoping nobody would notice it, but since you mentioned it, I have to be honest. <laughs> now what I like that this game does uh, in re- in reference to the stairs, mm-hmm. the stairs have always been a really big problem in Castlevania games as far as like limiting your mobility. Yeah, and a couple things that this that uh, Castlevania Four introduced was the fact that first of all you can jump onto stairs. Yeah. So like it can if you it can help by. Uh, you avoid stuff. I don't know. I was sort of lost my words there for a second. <laughs> um, it can help avoid obstacles, and also you can fall through stairs. Yeah. Uh, like to fall through, you just press down. The down an A. Yeah. yeah. Or down in your jump button. Yeah. But anyways, um, another thing is that knockback is doesn't affect you while you're on stairs. Yep. Which is unbelievably relieving because not that used to be such a problem was that if you got hit while you were on stairs you'd get knocked you'd get, the knockback would kill you yep because the screen the bottomless pit scrolls with you for the most now, part i doubt there it, it, there's there's like fall damage in no not that i know of so. i've never experienced it at least i uh, and i don't and like the reason i wouldn't think that there was is because there's only a certain What's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? This this elevator music's tripping me out know, <laughs> watching right? this. <laughs> and platforming section. Moving platforms to be precise. Fun for Perfect. everyone. Then there's this guy. Not the one red of the skeleton. platform there. Yeah, I'm really lucky that that, um, that that book came back to me in time. Yeah. And that one too because you would have been screwed. I'd have been knocked off. Definitely. Look at these beautiful pictures. <laughs> and I and died. You died in front of the beautiful picture. Is so, laughing at me is what the picture's doing. Bats, goodness. I don't know why I did the dang whip dangle there. The dangle whip. So what did you destroy that for? <laughs> Or did you just randomly that, just that, accordingly? Um, it just died. I can't remember, but it almost looked like it was a statue of, um, I think it's Shadowgate. Mm-hmm. And I, once again, I'd have to look back on it later and rewatch it to see. What is that? What uh, is that? If you're standing under those spikes um, and that oh, okay, carpet, yeah. it'll push you up. And into the spikes, and it'll kill you. That's However, funny. if you crouch, that becomes a complete non-issue. <laughs> That's great. Do, 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 do. This guy thought he was gonna hit you. Oh, that actually does damage to you. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that. Stage I thought, hazards. I thought, I, thought, I, I thought it just randomly fell over. I hey, almost you, knocked. Get back in that picture, sir. He almost what knocked me off. But doing? at least I got the health, though. Yeah. Those guys can catch you off guard really easily, um, just because of. The fact that if you're not looking for them, they yeah, can they can be hard to see. Yeah, yeah, see those centipede. It looks like I've heard you can fight that centipede, but as soon as you <laughs> off-screen him, like he's gone. 
Oh, that's 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 actually good. But like, if I remember correctly, he's a really hard enemy to kill. Yeah, I bet. You probably. But I've never killed him, so I wouldn't know. He probably gives you like a crap ton of stuff. Maybe. I don't know. There's no real experience in this game or anything. Probably points. Yeah. Probably points food. Stop it! Stop, <laughs> gropey no picture. Way. And crush. That's funny. Yep. <laughs> It's an interesting mechanic. Yeah. Like, uh, I wish I could say that this was the first game to do it, but... Or maybe it is the first game to do it. I've seen it I in other games, though. I haven't seen any other games. Although you've played more games than I have. I've played sure. more platformers than you. we yeah. got to get you playing more classic games. Because <laughs> right now, all you're doing is playing new games. Can't help it. Or newer games. Newer, yeah. Shadow so, the Hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog. If we're not... We're doing that game. No, we're not. <laughs> I'm not doing no. it. You can play it all you want. Oh, I will good. not stop you. I'm good. Don't. That I'm, well, that I'm will have there will like, have to be some censoring done in that commentary. <laughs> because yeah, I don't think I can be nice. Ooh. And so here's boss fight number. He's angry. Uh -huh. He's angry. Is that I'm actually fire? being really stupid with how I'm dealing with him, and you'll see why in a minute. Like, I should be able to jump over all of his attacks and avoid everything, but I just accepted it with... Everything. All of Grace it. and tenacity. Yeah. <laughs> He's walking the other way. He's like, oh, you're back here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Where <are> you go? <laughs> He's walks away. Oh, you're too strong. Ah, oh, Simon, no, stop. <laughs> yeah, Simon Belmont. <laughs> Good, Good guy, Simon. Handle. Finally Good got guy, the... Simon. Oh, so he's now he's you broke yeah, he's, his axe. So. I got his first armor, first armor. first first form down. This isn't yeah. even his final form. I think he's one of the few bosses that actually have multiple forms, yeah. like multiple stages of the fight, and that like that the fight actually changes. Um, the only, only other, other one, one I've seen is Dracula. Well, there's Dracula, Dracula and then Slagra Ga and Gaiben. Um, yeah. Oh, no more elevator music. Yeah, back to original, your original scheduled programming. <laughs> Sad face. No one wants to see this crap. No, I'm just kidding. This is the dungeon, which this is where the it gets starts getting to the point where you have to question the architect. <laughs> right. I mean, I yeah. know it's a dungeon and all, but uh, come on. There's some. There's lots of death here, and there even was the lots of death when I was recording. <laughs> even though, like the the person that's supposed to execute the prisoners in the dungeon, probably is gonna die. <laughs> I think they just drop them down that hole. And say, if you can survive and get out of here, you're free. Yeah. Well, we all know that's not gonna happen. Yeah, of course. I mean, what are the odds of that? Except for Simon, but he, he doesn't count. Yeah, but Simon's not there because he's a prisoner. Simon's there because Dracula. <laughs> and yes, know. those will kill you. They yeah. are spikes, and they will kill you. Of course. The dungeon wouldn't be a dungeon without instant death spikes and drippy acid stuff that kills you, hurts you. Yeah. Oh. It took me forever to figure out how to kill that particular enemy safely. Yeah. Because it can get really obnoxious. Those are just placed at random, too. Just it may seem there. so, but, like, I, I I do admire the way that they've placed enemies. Yeah. Um, just because of, like... Oh, I died. Oh, instant death spot. No, I died. Oh, instant death spot. No, I died. <laughs> oh, instant death spot. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and now I start back over again. Oh, uh, I I believe I finish it this time though. I don't know why I didn't jump cut though. <laughs> like, nah. Might as well go back from the beginning. That's funny. I wasn't expecting you to die three times in a row though. <laughs> that I probably died prob about. 20 times there. Oh, but only showing three? <laughs> yeah, I only showed three because that was just on my, you know, final recording. <laughs> like, any time that... The way I recorded this 
when I was when I was playing, it was kind of any time that I knew that um, my playing was not gonna be good. Yeah. I just restarted and deleted the video file for it um, because save states are amazing. Yeah. And like that was that was one of the biggest challenges because I I kept having to restart. Um, levels over and over and over again and keep, you know, deleting files. And yeah. I probably had probably about seven hours of recorded material that I, like, just deleted. Of this? Maybe not seven. Maybe probably three. But even still. I mean, still, yeah. think each of these parts are about 20 minutes. You know, it's a little bit more than an hour-long game. Um, if played good. Yeah. And it took me, yeah, about, I think total play time I had in this was probably yeah. four hours because of how much time, how many times I died. How long do you think you actually played this? Oh, well, like I said, about four about hours. About four hours. I, okay, I was, th I was thinking you, you meant something else. You ready for something that's going to scare the living crap out of you? I don't like this. You not sure what's gonna happen? I have no, I have no idea what's gonna happen. <laughs> right there. Uh, <laughs> if you're if you're just going along, and you're not paying attention to the ceiling, that can really screw you over. <laughs> yeah. Then if you do make it through, oh, random dragon head thing. Yeah, I think this is one of the only poor enemy placement examples, because it's really hard to take care of this guy without dealing with knockback and if yeah. you try to jump at him the knockback will kill you pretty much yeah it just knock knock you into the water down below supposedly you have to, this guy can't swim oh he i think he can in like in this water certain water he can swim in yeah. but it's more like walking on water <laughs> he more jesus is his way through he can just belmont strut and strut Meh. his way off, off on the water. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 don't drop oh, me. See? Okay. But it, it does damage in? to you. Yeah. So. That kind of sucks. <laughs> I think I die here, too. Pretty sure. Probably. Death for everyone. <laughs> yeah. Death by everything. This is better than the Stanley Parable for the uh, Death Simulator 2014. <laughs> Not really. Oh, that wow. was a horrible oh, wow. decision of mine. That was so cheap. Yep. It's like, oh, you thinking about dropping down through the and skipping the stair sections? <laughs> Bad idea. Stick spikes down below you so you don't try that no more. <laughs> Break his spirit. You learned your lesson now, didn't you, buddy? No, I didn't. Nope. We'll do it again, and you can't stop me. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yes, I do understand that it was a horrible, horrible mistake. No, I am not going to never repeat this again. You just ooga booga booga ooga booga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I think of whenever I see that. Ooga booga booga. Oh. I thought I could duck under that, but no. Look at him. He's just having a fun time up there. Weaving yeah, hand signs like a shinobi. You calm yourself. Those swords they look like swords. Pretty much, it's just spikes. Not instant death spikes, though. Oh, thank okay. God. This guy's is, is determined. That guy meant feel. business determined. for real. This can, these little spots can really serve to break the immersion, though. Um, when it comes to um, the platforming sections. Yeah. You just crawl, crawl under, under it. it. <laughs> so you gotta do what you gotta do. Ooh. I'm actually really lucky to have made this on my first try because these I've seen so many people who have been screwed over by that. Yeah. And this is the only boss that I've like that I've Frankenstein. I was surprised I beat. Like, I was, Frankenstein's monster is not an incredibly difficult boss, and I'm really glad that I beat him on my first try. Um. He's just got multiple attacks. Yeah. And he'll corner you. But, yeah. Not that bad. 
Dangler whip time. Time for the dangler whip action. Do do do. There's something to be said for the for the sense of satisfaction uh -huh. in in beating bosses in this game. Um, it, in in a lot of platformers, that's that's where the fun comes from. Yeah. After you after you beat the like just going through the game is not intensely satisfying, but when you really do, but certain platformers will it gives you a sense of accomplishment. Yeah. And Castlevania is one of those games that it feels like when you've when you beat a boss or when you get through a stage. You feel like you accomplished something. Definitely, because because of, this because game does not is. hold your hand. Yeah. It doesn't give you an easy way out. Does this even give you a tutorial? Nope. <laughs> How to jump? How to use your dangly whip? I and and I appreciate that in games. I hate games that make you sit through all kinds of gross, disgusting yeah. tutorials. Especially if the game is like simple. Yeah, like, doesn't like have Kirby. too much to it. Yeah, like, Kirby that, doesn't that, need that tutorials. tutorials. Anybody who's played a Kirby game for more than five minutes knows how to play a Kirby game. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I was really hoping for some health around here. Oh, they go away. Disappearing oh. platforms. Oh. It's this part in particular. I was really surprised that I made it through this without dying. Mm -hmm. Because of how close I was cutting it. Those like ghosts would take my attention off the game so much and have me die so many times. How are you supposed to get that uh, up there? You have to jump on it before that, and I'm sure that those have health up there. Yeah, probably. This guy's. Yep. Sir, he's right below you. Stop throwing it that way. What is wrong with you, guy? Whew! I thought that, that bat was gonna be the end of me. <laughs> I think it's cool, like, they disappear where you jump on them at, too. Yeah. Like, they start to disappear where you, where you jump on them at. Yeah, that is a pretty, pretty, uh... Oh my god, why can I not speak things today? It's, it's a yeah. neat, Your neat addition. Almost, you're almost dead, too. I am so close to death, and I've got a boss coming up. Oh my gosh. I don't think you're gonna hit him. You're not gonna hit him. Well, now you are, never mind. Oh! Yeah. Die already! Yeah, I got ghostly rape hands coming at me. <laughs> yeah. Or at least it looked like hands for a minute. It's just air. Ooh, coffin. Don't mess with the coffin, Chris. You can't defeat the coffin, Chris. I think I die here. Yep. Uh, why can't it's... you just, like, shut you inside the coffin? Why, why do the coffins have to kill you? Because... game. Why can't the coffins be nice? Because that'd be too easy. That'd be too easy. Nothing in this game is nice. Nothing. Oh, is that what you're actually supposed to do? Yeah, well, it's kind of one of those. If you're observant of your environment, you can take an easier way. Yeah. Um, and whereas in past Castlevania games and in future Castlevania games, there's usually multiple ways to get to, um, to get to your destination. Uh -huh. This is actually one of the few Castlevania games that was took a little bit more linear approach where, you know, each level you is scripted that you're going to go through this level. Uh -huh. Um That would seem like that would be pretty hard though. It is. You have to do that. Like you you have to if you miss it you re reset. Is that is that gold? Yeah. You're like you so would all, die this is the treasury. In gold. <laughs> one heck of a death. Oh no, gold death. I can't take it. It's too much. Do, 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 do. But yeah, this is another good example of like different environments. Uh, this is, was one of my favorite levels to play. Yeah. Um. Who is it coming? He got what? me. He tried. Um. I've seen so many people get screwed by this part because of those instant death spikes. Weren't the, oh you okay? I was about to say you just got hit by one, but invincibility, invincibility frames invincibility. for the win. Exactly. I okay, do appreciate. So, why don't I Simon do just? Well, he's already rich, isn't he? Pretty much. His family. I don't know. 
Belmont family's already rich. So why don't you take some of that money, kid? I know you're not a thief, heir to the Belmont on. fortune. I've never heard that. Because <laughs> gold will weigh you down, and he needs all of his power for Dracula. He has a magical whip. Oh, look at you, stylish, Mr. Simon. Yeah. Now, is that money? It's points, but it looks like money. Why <laughs> no more money? Why do Why do the Why do they have money? That's, 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 that's what I'm wondering. Why do the enemies have money? They're not going to go anywhere and spend it. Um, shopping. <laughs> where they where need it? It's it's laundry day. That's it's why it's day. in a bag. It's like quarters. <laughs> he had so much. Oh my <laughs> gosh. So basically, the the truth of it is, we're not actually going to invade Dracula's castle. We're just here to steal all of his friends' lunch money. Yeah, pretty much. This is exactly what's, what's happening right now. Every single can't... This guy hides money well, doesn't he? Goodness. Although there's like like money all over the floor and chests everywhere. I'm kind of being greedy here and instead of trying to go forward, but there's so much money. Yeah, there's so much. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Wario would have a stroke. <laughs> Greed, get it, get it. <laughs> That's exactly what would happen. Oh, so no more money. Oh, he has a whip too. I know greed is good, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> whip against whip. Oh, you didn't even give him. They a need. I bet you there's fan fictions online about the skeletons, the whip oh, skeletons. I wouldn't doubt the it. The Belmont Killer. <laughs> <laughs> With my trusty whip, the Belmont Killer. <laughs> oh, look, and he also has a creature made of gold that's that attacks money. you with gold. This was a really weird boss fight because I wasn't sure how he actually attacked me. Yeah. But, you know, it's pretty easy as long as you have the extended whip. If you don't, then, well, uh oh. Oh. So, how much does the uh, whip extend if you. Uh, you've got your standard brown leather whip, and then you've got the upgrade to. the damage upgrade, and then you've got the length upgrade. Yeah. Broke Essentially, that's yeah. Probably break down even more. Nope, never mind. Nope, you just gotta kill the three. Woo! Ah, seizure! Epilepsy! Yep. Epileptic fit. <laughs> the only the other one was that uh the rock monster that was like against a black background and every yeah. time you hit him it flashed Flashes. in your face. Didn't he get like smaller when he did that? Yeah. Him, yeah. What's happening? What's happening? I'm gonna climb the stairway. Belmont strut your way up them steps. Yeah. Do 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 do. So, man. yeah, we'll see you guys next part.